FM, this is The Wallace Show, a classic uh, from uh, Crowder there, uh, but we're not here to talk old school, we're moving forward in life, we're talking new school, new album, I Know a Ghost, David Crowder, how are you my friend? I'm doing fantastic, thank well, you, it feels like, uh, that's that's amazing, you said a classic, that feels uh, important. You are a classic actually. Hey, uh, we haven't talked to each other in a while, remember you when you retired for a minute? No. Yeah, no, okay, look, you, uh-uh. were, you retired, we could count that no. I think in months like a baby's age. Yeah. It seemed like you... Wait, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? Like, you know how you, you when a when a baby turns oh, like a year... they start talking like, they start like, oh, it's three months old. Right, and then or when it turns a year, or... you call it that, but until then it's like 16 oh. months or what have you. Like, how yeah, long yeah, did yeah. you actually sit out? Um, that never happened. I, <laughs> oh, just a figment of my imagination. <laughs> you made that up. I did. Okay. Yeah, it's just good radio. Yeah. Um, no, it happened. It was. It was actually about a year. Was it that long? Yeah, it was a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I know it didn't feel like in dog years. It's not that long, but yeah. yeah. What you do? What like, cause you're young. Like, what did you like? You're like, I'm gonna retire. Man, I tried to get lots of jobs. I tried to work at home today. I, I'm just. Un, I'm not hireable. I don't have a lot of skills, man. Right. That's I got a problem. You. you know, it's not. I mean, I, I'm not good in the workforce, really. Not a lot. I could. I don't pay attention to instructions. <laughs> so, I, I want I have, you to call a bad employee. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I became self-employed very quickly. Yeah, and um, but uh, I started. I just kept writing songs. Is what it boils down to. Right. Yeah. Do you just need that break in that time? Because I, I would love. It was to re- amazing. Actually. I'd like to t- like. I took two years off one time. For real? Oh yeah. It's the best. I made a bunch of money at a radio gig, and then Braggart. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not Christian radio. Uh, and so I, I left, and like I took two years off, and my daughter was uh, like from three to five. Like I got to spend every day with oh, her. Oh my word! It's awesome. Best thing That's I ever amazing. did. I would do it again tomorrow if I could. Can't. That is amazing. Yeah. So I like I get that time. Sometimes you, your soul just needs to heal. It a was incredible. I really just uh, we we'd reached the end of a, a period of time and yeah. life i didn't know like i didn't mean to do this to begin with I'm, I'm not kidding when i say that like i was like the least likely person uh I, I was a part of a church start i know i've told you this before but now that you're asking these questions like right. for real when i say this it was for real like i was a part of a church start and i was somewhat musically inclined and so they asked me could you help with the music i'm like uh, it seems like a bad idea. <laughs> and then here we are, you yeah. know? So, and we got to the end of, uh, we made six records as a band, and, and uh, it was the end of another contract period, and life had twisted and turned and gone in all manner of ways for all of us. And, and it was like, hey, well, let's do something else. And yeah. I was like, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, sometimes you got to hit I'm that reset. I'm going to go reset. try to get a job at Home Depot. Uh, for, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I would love to great. work there. Yeah, yeah, I was going to be in the lumber department, mm-hmm. you know? Or, or like, who's the who's the person that gets to cut the change? You know, there's uh, like a there's a, a, a orange bucket yeah, yeah, yeah. of chain, yeah. and you measure it on the floor yeah, with yeah. the little ruler that's on the floor. There's mm-hmm. a little tape. It's just basically tape right. marked off, and someone comes along if you ask them. Bolt cutters. Yeah, yeah. who gets to do that? I, I like, want to do that kind I of like thing. I like that you know? guy and the guy that cuts the threads on the pipe. Uh, that's another aisle that I like. Oh man! Or if you like, don't know what the size thread that you have that you've lost the screw for right. that goes in the table, and you're like, man. I don't know what size of screw do I need and what's the thread width. Mm. And they can figure it out. They yeah. figure it out in no time. Yeah. You, know, you just buzz that deal and they'll show up, they'll cut your chain. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll thread. And you go home and you stop thinking about it at the end yeah. of the day. But the big plywood cutting machine, now that one looks mm. fun. You oh, know? yeah. I did look into that, uh, how to get one at your house. They're not I, I, as expensive as you think they are, but I was trying to figure out what I'd do after cutting what the plywood. What would you cut with it? And, yeah. Like, who was going to come over for me yeah. to cut the plywood for? And then you didn't s- have a lot of projects to cut it. That's where it gets dangerous, because once you've cut all the plywood, then you're like, what else could I cut with this? And then you start <laughs> trying to put things through it that shouldn't Just go like through it. Just like how it starts with the microwave. A hundred percent. Exactly. I'm on the same track. Yep. <laughs> you're sort of an enigma, okay? Like, you really are. Like, you're man, this- I don't like these fancy words, man. It seems like you're intellectually bullying me right Anything now. Anything I'm going to say to you right now, I mean as a compliment. Okay, okay so right. it's start from now, that place. Now, see, I guarantee that's not going to work out <laughs> on my favor. Uh-huh. You are an odd duck, oh, and I bless love his that. Heart. About, yeah. Yes, I, uh-huh. bless him. Bless I get his soul. <laughs> no, I love that about you. But then I thought about this. I thought I have holes in my Crowder knowledge. Like Uh-oh. I've known you for years, but there are things I don't know about you. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go real quick okay. here, right. and I'm going to get caught up in a lifetime in seven questions. All okay, right, I love it. So, so here much. we go. Seven's my favorite number. I'm going to get all these right. How long have you been married? 
Uh, twenty two years. Okay, I got twenty six. It's almost in the game. coming on. It's almost coming on twenty two. It's twenty one, but it's coming on twenty two. I count ahead. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you, man. And yeah. that's not easy too when you're traveling, you're on the road and stuff like that. I'm sure, like anybody, you oh, have no, things you got to work through. No, it's super <laughs> simple. <laughs> yeah, Relationships it? are easy, bro. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what's wrong with you. Yeah. Why, why, why you got to make them so hard? Why you get be so aggressive? And, yeah. Yeah. Come in and hot like this. It's okay. Like, just settle down. Be nice. It's, that's about all. It. Just be agreeable, and okay. you got it made. It's nothing to it. That's how you do it. All right. Yeah. There's the secret. Uh, yeah. Besides fish, have you ever killed anything and eaten it? What? <laughs> Man, these are questions that are intrusive. <laughs> well, I, 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 I don't yes, know. Are you, are you a hunter? Like, no, I'm not. I'm not a hunter. I don't have to. I don't have to hunt. But okay. I, I have. I have uh, killed things and eaten them. Yes. Okay. If I think if you kill something, you should eat it. I do. I do there agree you with that. So yes, that, you don't that waste part's it. Been, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, All right. Yeah. Uh, strangest thing you ever found in your beard? Uh, well. Mm, strange. It depends. Well, that, you're asking me. I'm asking you. All yeah, because right. my beard. I'm not very surprised big. by the stuff I find in my beard. <laughs> Other people have found things to be strange. Uh, uh, I will say the most embarrassing moment of, of finding something in my beard was uh, we were at, uh, we were eating real good this night. We were with some friends. Company was in town. We went out to a really nice restaurant, Olive Garden, and uh, nice. we were eating the Olive Garden. They have free breadsticks and classy it up. Much salad you want and. Um, <laughs> And I'm um, sitting to a lady I don't know that well, and and um and she she's staring at me weirdly, and she starts to touch my beard, and I'm like I don't like to be don't, don't touch my beard. Yeah, you, you know? don't know her. With that like say something first, like hey I'm about to touch your beard. So yeah. I don't know, give me some. Give me a she warning. had nonverbals and it was too quick. It happened so fast. <laughs> and she she and then I know she's pulling something out of my beard, and she looks as like concerned about what's happening as I do, and ter- <laughs> she has a look of terror in her eyes. I'm feeling terror. <laughs> And myself, and and she pulls out a stick. It's not like a twig. It's a. It's like a stick, man. I'm telling you. I'm sitting at dinner at Olive Garden with a stick in my beard, and this lady I don't know pulls it out, and she's like, "Oh my gosh, this is a stick." And I'm like, "That is totally a stick." And I'm trying to think when have I been around sticks last, and I can't think of when it was, and that concerned me more than like the stick necessarily. That yeah, it's been there a while. That's best I could come up with. If I was on the road with you, if I traveled with you, every, I like your idea. That sounds great. Like every day, it would be my mission to while you slept put, put something, something in, in your beard. Oh, see, you can't travel with me, bro, right? man. <laughs> uh-uh, pranks, man. We don't do pranks on the road because I tend to escalate things quickly. <laughs> me too. And people get hurt, and yep. I don't have insurance for that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? So. So, uh, no, if you're going to be putting stuff in my beard, man, it's not going to work out. I but, wish we hung out more often. I know. I really do. I know. Now, where are you living I don't now? live, I was going to say, I don't live near you. Yeah. And uh, I live down in Atlanta. I mean, I live kind of You're still in you. Atlanta? Okay. Yep. Atlanta, Georgia. It's yeah, been I was home there now for... for five years. Oh, really? I, no, I, I don't know why there. I needed to hold my hand up. It's like a little you, five years. You don't think I can count? You're uh, like one, five. Two. Well, count them, five. Yep. Uh, now, Those many Years. We got some new music from you. You have a new album called Thank uh, goodness. I Know a Ghost. And and when referring to uh, this song here, I'm going to play a little okay. bit of it. Wildfire. You actually, uh, and I quote, said... It is a hoot of a thing. That is how you describe your song, uh, Wildfire. Do you stand by that? As a little grandiose, I think. <laughs> I, I think it's a, little, it's a little much. It's a little much. It's, it's you know, kind of energetic. Okay. All right. Well, then you've got another song here. Uh, I do. Here, I do. Here, yeah, there's there's a there's another song on the You're record. you got like 16 out- songs yeah. on that record. That's crazy. Oh, my word. That seems too much. Good for you. You're giving Selfless. back to the people. Selfless. Uh, this is uh, Red Letters. Okay. Red the red, the red letters And the ground began to shake So if Wildfire uh, fire was a hoot of a thing... What, would, what was that? What was the title of the other one? Well, the first one you played? Well, Wildfire, it? but it sounded like I said flower. You just, yeah, and then it turned into f- Wildfire. Flyer, yeah. yeah. So that's, but that's a kind of <laughs> cool song. I kind of wish it was like... Wild flyer. We might have now just we're hit on something. Now that's a good track yeah. right there. Now yeah. it's a hoot, now it's a hoot of, a song. of a thing. <laughs> it's a hoot of a song there, yeah. So anyway, how, would you, how would you uh, categorize Red Letters then? Is it more of a knee slapper turkey tickler, uh, a bobber on a lake of life, or uh, so good the colorblind will see red? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, um, 
I would I would definitely go with C. C. Uh, yeah. So good, the colorblind will see red. Well, because yeah, because nice. it's like uh, uh, but but see the colorblind. Yeah, I don't know. The, I don't <laughs> know how the colorblindness works. I thought it was mostly due to the uh, greens and yellows. Greens and reds. Greens and, and reds. And reds is a problem. Most, oh yeah, I'm colorblind. Oh man. Hey, check this out. This is a real fact, and it's gonna blow your mind. Did you know when one in thirteen men are colorblind? Yes. Oh, well then. And it's passed down Never from the mind. mom. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry oh, to mean to steal your thunder. You and your intellectual <laughs> bullying. And it's, it's passed down from the mom to the son, and it usually skips a generation. Really? Yeah. See, now you know I really am colorblind. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, you and, like, you know, uh, the uh, next 12, 12 people. people. No, yes. no. After them, the next yeah, math, one. Man, numbers are hard. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I anyway, might, you understand what I'm saying. I might know a couple Sentiments words, but I don't know math <laughs> yeah. at all. So yeah, I think we got it right, though. Lots of people are colorblind. Well, here's what I want to talk about with you and the new Males, album. Males, that is. Yes, exactly. Uh, I know How weird ghost. is that, though? Think about it. Yeah. You know, like me, you know, everybody's like, man, dudes can't really, they don't let them pick out the pillows in the house. Right. You know, don't, don't let them pick out the pillows for the couch. Well, now we know, you know. That's it's, why. It's, yeah, they, they can't see. Yeah, because there's can't. some degree of colorblindness, right. I think, in every guy. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so, that's uh, my point. <laughs> that's my point right there. So we got Crowder with us here, and uh, I, I love the title of your new album, I Know a Ghost. Now, I have my speculation okay. uh, that I've placed in an envelope as to what that means. I've written okay. it down <laughs> like a publicist would write for a, a record album for you. All right, listen, if this is it. good, if this is good... This is what we're going to send okay. to, to all the mass media outlets. So I want you release. first to explain, okay. I know a ghost. Then we'll go Man, to my I envelope. I have no idea, bro. That's why I'm asking you. Give me the envelope so I know what to say about it. All right, Everybody's well, very confused. My here. mom doesn't know what to do with it. It's like, <laughs> like because we were, you know, growing up, we uh, uh, we had Fall Festival. You know? Yes. So the ghost thing is like, no, no, you can't mention I'm talking that. about the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. The Holy Ghost. Gotcha. And, um, but my mom's nervous because... Uh, all right, I'm opening this up. Okay. All right. This is what I interpreted it as from oh, not knowing wow. anything about Alrighty, it. All right, your big words. Yeah, here you go. It starts with a statement and a colon. All right, I know a ghost, colon, as a simple metaphor for the complexity and the duality that exists between our past lives and our new identities in Christ. My goodness gracious, I just got <laughs> chills. Um, <laughs> if, if we allow the past to affect our present, then we will always be haunted by who we were instead of becoming who we were supposed to be. Boom. Ah! There you go. Uh, all right. Can I uh, plagiarize it? You can, can have just, that. That's, that's mine? From, you can have from that. you to me? You want to go and talk Bro, about uh, think, this album I anywhere? I think you just sold tens of dozens of this record. <laughs> that's incredible. That is, that is uh, pretty beautiful, man. Um, I, it is. Uh, there's a lot of play you can have with the word. Um, what I love is that there is truth, and I think we've spent the last few decades, um, at least in academia, try, you know, with postmodern reading of literature, you, you're trying to dismantle what truth is. Like everybody right. has got relativity to their experience of life, and it's like, well, I don't know if the guy that wrote the thing, you you can't know what he was trying. To, he doesn't even know what he's saying. You can't read what he's saying, and yet we're supposed to experience this revelatory. Uh, truth and reading of scripture and our understanding of Christ through our community of faith that that we're participating in. You know what I'm saying? However, when, when you when you're looking at the iTunes or the Netflix and you're seeing these movies that are up, how many insidiouses are there? Right. Oh my gosh. I mean, for real. Like those are terrifying. Can you make too. more movies about like supernatural, scary stuff? Mm. Because I think that we as humans understand that there's there's uh, there's something that we respond to that exceeds what our um, what we can see and touch, right. you know, and feel. That there's something that transcends our our reality, and that's why you got all this stuff that we're able to talk about outside of the church in ways that often look uh, twisted. Um, and inside the church, we're just as confused by what is what's this other person? You know, we've got father. I'm cool with father. I'm cool with son. Me and Jesus are buddies. Right. Father, I want to be reverent and respectful towards, but this Holy Ghost thing, it causes as much uh, interesting conversation. Well, and and uh, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a hard thing to get our heads around even inside the church. But outside the church, uh, it's it's uh, talked about quite a bit. Right, because I hate like scary movies and you oh, see a man. million of them. I'm not a fan. Like I won't go see them because like, I, I it's jump loud too much. Noises. It's loud yes, noises. Like, it turns out it was just a pigeon. Right. Coming out of the dark, and you're right. like, 
hey man, if you if you hold your ears and you can't hear the sounds, it's way less. <laughs> yeah, because the pigeon will make me soil myself. Like oh, I'm it sorry. always like that All stuff right. scares me. But the crazy thing is, it's like I don't fear ghosts and demons and all that else. I don't live in that world, but you have to, as a believer, you have to understand that that Man, world does exist. Man, stuff is a right. foot. Um, and um, I, I grew up going to First Baptist Church, Texarkana, in the, in the, on a Sunday morning, and then whatever was happening in the charismatic movement, whether it be a Pentecostal church, Assembly of God, or whatever, I mean, it's like, my, and the language that my parents would use around it was like, wherever the Spirit's moving. Right. Which, um, you know, I had to reconcile, what does that mean that, that the Spirit is not active at First Baptist Church when we pull out the hymnal and have the organ, you know, crank up? Does that mean he's not present and active? I think that there's a lot of uh, um, ways we talk about the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, that sh- that is uh, damaging to what His activity is. Right. That I-, I believe once the veil was torn from top to bottom, which is pretty cool, pretty impressive. All of a sudden, God was everywhere, and that's His His Spirit and is is active and and um, um, shaping history alongside of us. And there is also other activity in conflict with that, which is I, I sing a lot about on the last record too. You know, it's kind of it's kind of a um, it was unusual to sing "Run, Devil, Run" because you mm. just we don't you don't see a lot of language about um, acknowledging that there there are things afoot that are there's conflict there's good there's evil and these things are in conflict with one another inside of us and um, in and, another realm absolutely yeah. and we're participating uh, in in that in that conflict and. Well, there you go. That yeah. is a uh, wonderful ghost story uh, for I Saw a Ghost. <laughs> you know? Holy ghost stories. Yeah, there's another album. Man, we are just killing this for you today. This is going to be amazing. All right, so we're going to play a little game here love with games. you and Betty Rock, okay? Love Betty, love games, so love rock. <laughs> this is called uh, Welcome to Betty's Book Club, all right? So I'm going to give you guys a hint about, and I'm going to describe a book for Betty's new book club, okay? I'm in the club now? You're or? in the club. Oh, man, I feel smart. And you guys have to uh, figure the out what... The bar wasn't set real high. Very true. <laughs> Uh, you guys have to figure out what the title of the book is or what right, the book so is about. So we're at the book club, yep. but we don't know the title of the book exactly. that we're going to possibly read. <laughs> right. And, and then you're going to... Give you a clue. You're going to give us a clue and as to, make to the it, next book we might read yes. as a club. And to make it easier, all, right, all, right, all, all right. of the answers will have a version, some way, of your name Crowder in them, okay? Oh, okay. That okay. seems... I'm sorry about that, Betty. All right. Yeah, it no, like There's no book far-reach. titles that have Betty's name. <laughs> no, working, all, no Crowder. Betty. all right. Yeah, Not, all Betty Crowder. Beetle or nothing like that. Okay. <laughs> no. All right. So here we okay. go. If All you right. know the answer, you will shout out your name. Your name will be your buzzer. Betty. That was, if she knew, that would be it. Okay. See okay. how that worked. It, it, that was amazing. Okay. Here we go. You, did, uh, what, you gave the clue already? No. This okay. is it now. Oh, she was like, ah. So she you was cannot che- confuse. She was him, checking Rob. her buzzer. Yes. All right. All she right. checked her buzzer. Betty's wow. buzzer works. Yeah. Okay. Betty, Betty's buzzer. <laughs> Is that the next book? Does Betty Butter? No. Does Crowder's Buzzer work? Betty Butter. <laughs> Betty. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Here's here's your first book. All right. If two's company, three's a... Crowd! Oh. Er. I have the answer. Okay. You, ye- you yelled your name. You're in. And that's really good. Now give me the answer. Three's a crowd. Two, two's, com- two's Crowder. Yes! <laughs> three's what? crowd. Three's a crowder. Two's company. Three's a crowder! There you what? go. You didn't say I meant, you well, I was, I, my buzzer was stuck. Yeah. <laughs> my buzzer <laughs> says crowder, and so I was trying to get it yeah. to stop saying that, and uh, I was trying to say, anyway. Uh, okay, so crowder my one. My buzzer's working now. Betty none. Okay, here sorry. we go. Okay, I'm getting this. I shouldn't put I'm my ready. elbow on the buzzer, sorry. This is a uh, self help book called Alone in a. Betty. Oh. Betty. Alone Three, in two, my one. Cra- in the crowd. Oh, Alone sorry. Crowd. Sorry. Too crowd. late. <laughs> Too late. Uh, David. She kind of said it already. What is it? I think it's tied one to one. No, what is Alone it? Alone in a Crowder. Yes, there you go. Two to nothing. Oh, Nicely done. Oh, man. Sorry. We're playing uh, for uh, Crowder playing a song here today, and so it's two to one, or two to none, so that's good news for all of us, okay? (laughs) Okay. Here we go. Um, A book of concert photos of rock stars doing something associated with the beach. It's a picture book of rock stars doing... Betty? Betty? Crowd surfing? Crowder surfing? Okay, I'll give it to you. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. I'd say that's my favorite favorite book so far. All right, two to one. one. Pictures. Okay, Um, this one's going to be really hard. Uh, So maybe I'll save that one. Here's another. Go for the hard one. I like it. Okay, the hard one? Okay. (laughs) A book that gets a lot of input from normal people. The app Waze is a technical version of this. This is really hard. Wait, say it again. The app Ways uh, is they, a version uh, of it. Yes, of the book. Yeah. So like, so like a directional app. Yes, is 
also a book that has the word Crowder in it. How they get their information, that's the key. Crowdsourcing. <gasps> or? Or. Crowd. Or. You're so good. Three, two, okay, one. Okay, Betty, do you know the answer? What's the deal? You, you no, I'm big... still lost. All right. Well, uh, apparently you're right. This is a very tough book It would uh, be. Title. It would be what sourcing? Crowder sourcing. Crowder sourcing. Oh, there you what go. What did I say? Yeah, I crowdsourcing. Say... Oh. But I'm going to give you that one, too, because you were so close. Three to one. You're doing very well. Man, this I'm, I'm not feeling great about myself right now. I don't this know. This is a terrible game. You're winning. Your head looks like it's about to explode. Okay, it is. This is hard to <laughs> see. Okay, this one. Uh, here we go. Busy. Uh, we got Crowder with us uh, playing a little game here for Betty's Book Club. Right. A medical resource book detailing a crazy bovine sickness. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Crowder disease. Yes! What? You're killing this! Hey, I forgot to buzz what? in. That's okay. What is mad Crowder disease? <laughs> yes! All right. Crowder. Nicely done. See, now you got this. Okay. A what? book uh, to be cool. Um, a okay, book, I like it. A book to be cooler and fit in with the in... Well, that just gave you a big uh, hint there. A book to be cooler and fit in with the popular kids at school or the... Oh, oh, Betty! Betty! Betty. Uh, the crowd... No, the in Crowder. The in Crowder! <laughs> nice, nice All right. <laughs> I don't know how you got that, Betty. Yeah, yeah. She's a genius. <laughs> That's amazing. Right. Thank you. The final one She's here... She's already read that one. <laughs> she I could tell. Too. And it didn't That's, work. I know. It didn't take. Like, uh, okay, here we go. This is for all girls. the marbles. <laughs> nice. Uh, with Betty's Book Club with Crowder. A new cookbook with recipes with one dish from New England. I think you know this, Crowder. I, what, he's I, whispering something to me. Yeah, I, I don't know. A New England dish. I don't know. I've never, what, do they, what do they eat over there <laughs> in that side of the world? I don't know. Take it. You, you got to know it. Clam. So they love clams. Yeah. So Crowders. What? Chowder. Yeah, what is it? It rhymes with chowder. Put it together. Oh. Crowder. New England. Clam. Crowder. Crowder, oh. yes! He was trying uh, to I help think, you out. I think, Betty. Uh, she, no, you're just... She doesn't cook a lot. You're just being a good guy and a nice guy, but you actually did win that, and that means you owe us a live song. What are you going to play? I love it. I'm, gonna, I'm going to play um, Betty's favorite song, uh, because I hate that you lost like that. I didn't yeah. mean to be that, you know, aggressive that guy. and winning. What's okay. my favorite song? It's just what I do. Uh, it's my latest single <laughs> off my new oh, I didn't know. <laughs> album, I Know a Ghost, and it's Red Letters. There you yeah. go. Oh. It's the one that you love, and we're like, could you please play this one? Boy, if I had it's a dollar for every time she said, would you play Red Letters I by know, Crowder? Right? Uh, like, I could yeah. maybe not buy a bowl of clam you could, Crowder. You could probably take off a couple years. <laughs>